Online class for kids. Welcome everyone to online class for kids. Does that song sound familiar? Your mom has probably sung that to you before you went to bed. But did you know that stars are not so little? Let's embark on a cosmic adventure and explore the wonders that twinkle above. Welcome to our star-studded journey! These tiny dots of light we see in the night sky are called stars. Stars are celestial bodies made up of hydrogen and helium that produce light and heat. But how does a star form? Well, first, a cloud of gas and dust comes together to form what is called a protostar. The center of the protostar then becomes hot enough that it gives off a visible light, making it shine and look like a star. This process takes a million years. There are many kinds of stars in the sky. Let's learn about them one by one. This is a Titori star. Titori stars are stars that are formed at the end of a protostar phase. They usually remain in the phase for about 100 million years. Titori stars can have large areas of sunspots and intense X-ray flares. Another type of star is the main sequence star. Did you know that the sun is a main sequence star? Cool, right? They vary in size depending on their mass, which defines the amount of energy pulling them inward. The most common type of stars in the universe are a subtype of main sequence stars called red dwarf stars. They are cooler than other stars and are predicted to burn for up to 10 trillion years. When a star has less hydrogen in its core, it becomes an aging star, called Red Giant. When a giant star completely runs out of hydrogen fuel in its core, after a few hundred million years, it now becomes a white dwarf star. No fusion reactions are happening inside a star. It still shines because it was a hot star once. The cooling down process might take hundreds of billions of years. And lastly, we have supergiant stars. These stars live fast and die young. They consume hydrogen fuel at an enormous rate and run out in just a few million years. They explode as a supernova and completely disintegrate in the process. Would you like to hear a cool fan fact about stars? Awesome! Did you know that when we look at the stars, we are looking back in time? This is because it takes thousands of years for the light emitted by stars to reach us due to the large distance between the stars and the Earth's outer space. So, when you look up in the sky and see a bright star, you're seeing how the star looked many years ago. 
hope you had a wonderful time learning about the stars. See you next time for another fun of learning only here at Online Class for Kids. Visit onlineclassforkids.com for more fun learning videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.